Well, first off, Happy Easter, because that is what we're here celebrating this evening. And this night is one of the most important nights of our faith. It's because we celebrate the core of our belief and our reason that we trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. It's because this night we celebrate that most sacred mystery of the church, the resurrection. As we read in the gospel tonight, the resurrection took place just before dawn. Or as we'll read in John in our service this morning, it took place in the dark of night, just a little before the dawn. For the ancient Jewish people, the day started after sunset. And so our celebration after sunset is when we're able to really approach that great Sunday of Easter. It's a way that we live into the ancient understanding of days and continue to express our faith with those ways. Vigil itself means that we are being vigilant, that we're being watchful. So the time of this service at night is a recollection of Mary Magdalene and the other Mary as they came in the wee hours of the morning to the tomb to help prepare Jesus' body for burial. And so celebrating in those wee hours helps us, in a way, to be present with those two women. It helps us to be present with them, to witness with them the earthquake that happened just before the angel came to roll the stone away. This time allows us to be present with those women, to hear the witness of the angel say that Jesus is there no more. He is risen. This service, by mere proximity of time to those events over two millennia ago, lets us be present for those events that we hear about tonight. It allows us to be closer to those events it allows us to experience the resurrection in its fullness. We experience this fullness, as was said in the collect earlier this evening, by celebrating the totality of our lives as Christians together. We celebrate Jesus Christ as the light coming into our hearts and penetrating the darkness of sin and death that surround us. We celebrate the totality of Scripture, especially the Old Testament epics that show us the history of salvation that God was setting forth for us even in the beginning of creation. And we will soon celebrate the totality of the sacraments that we celebrate together as a church as we renew our baptismal vows and celebrate our first Easter communion and Eucharist together. Through baptism and Eucharist, we celebrate the two great outward and physical signs of inward and invisible grace that our Lord Jesus Christ gave to us. 
In them we celebrate those sacraments, those rites, those ways of worship that set us apart as followers of the way, followers of Christ, those who are called Christians. So live into this night. Live into this sacred mystery. Every year, this service is a reminder to all of us of what God has done for each and every one of us in this world. It is a reminder that although God died for us, He rose again to give us new life in Him. We remember the grace that He has given to us through our journey through the scripture that we went through this evening. We remember that we are united with Him through the gifts of the two main sacraments that we recall and that we celebrate. And we know that He is with us always through His flame that burns brightly each Sunday until the end of this great Easter season. And most of all, we live into the sacred mystery of the resurrection through the time in which we celebrate it. As we prepare for dawn coming, we find ourselves like Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. We too are there as witnesses to the glory of Jesus Christ rising from death into life. And through our entire service, we see that we too are called to die to sin and self so that we can rise to new life through that wondrous truth we celebrate today, the marvelous gift of the resurrection from the dead.